Um, just want to bring Lacey into the conversation, Manchester City fan. Lacey, we've been talking about uh, English teams potentially getting to the final or it almost looking like an inevitability. Do you think that's the case? And in particular, do you think that's what Manchester City should expect? Um, I mean, I'm hoping they, I would like them to get to the final this year. That I mean, obviously, the disappointing loss against Chelsea last year and the one nil loss against them. So, um, I mean, I'm someone that really, I, I just kind of, I watch the games more than any, I obviously watch the games more than anything. And um, actually, I am blind, completely blind. Okay. And I listen to the games on, so I, I'm not able to see it. I'm not able to see. So I listen to the games on the radio because it describes so much more. Hmm. Um, and I mean, I follow the games more than anything. I follow some of the news when it comes to this, um, and I honestly don't really know a lot about the rules of this game. Don't hate me for saying that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, and um, I I also wanted to speak about um, that comment that that referee made. Okay, yes, yeah, Lacey, go on, Lacey, please. let's hear And we it. should say as well, Lacey, we're, we're privileged because you've called us from um, Illinois in the USA as well, which we can obviously hear in your accent, but, but welcome, you're very welcome on the show. Thank you, thank you. We're international um, on this show, Lacey. What I, wanted, yeah, what I wanted to say was, I'm, I think, I, I agree with you, Natalie, you saying that it's ridiculous. That comment is ridiculous. I mean, you were talking about Serena Williams, um, you know, when she had a baby, and you said four months later she was in the finals of Wimbledon. And I think it's ridiculous that he said women are not fit after they had a baby and that. It's just, I don't know, it's just so ridiculous to me. And, yeah, it's just, it's just yeah. upsetting to hear that. Yeah, I, I totally agree, Lacey. It really Lacey. is. Yeah. And it was, it was so unprompted. It, yeah. And, what? He just came out with that on his own. That is just. They asked him. The question they asked him was about: Do we? Do, do they think? Does he think that we'll ever see a female referee in the Premier League? And then his reason was no, essentially because women get pregnant. Oh, I, I think that is the most ridiculous comment I've ever heard. Yes. I'm, do you know what? I'm glad. I feel like it's something we're all in agreement with. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be. And and you know, it, Lacey, it is insulting not just for. But for women wanting to get into football, but women in any walk of life, really, no one would ever yes. uh, would, would ever accept that being said to them in any walk of life, and it, it's insulting to pretty much half the planet. Yeah, I mean, heck, if somebody that's blind as well, I mean, I mean, heck, if somebody said, "Oh, you can't have this, you can't have this job because you're blind," like it's like that. It's like saying that. It's yeah. like saying that to some. It's like saying that, oh, you can't have this job because you're blind or you have this disability. That's not right. It absolutely At isn't all. right. And, and it'll be interesting, I think, the next few days to see if there is a response to this, if maybe he retracts certain things that he says. Yeah, you'd hope so. I can see that the women in football, who are a really influential group that I'm a member of, have posted a brilliant statement um, in reply to, to him. So, yeah, hopefully, you know, this is hopefully it's an education moment. Hopefully we can educate some yeah. old men here. And Natalie, by the way, I think, by the way, I listen to you on um, Match Day Live when you're on, so um, I think you're, I, I think you're incredible what you do. Oh, Lacey, <laughs> thank this, you. And you do, and you do this, and you do Match Day Live, and um, I also, I also follow um, Stephen McInerney as well, who I know you have talked to before. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right, yeah. Lacey. So, um, yeah. you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of love here to Nat. A lot of love here to uh, Steve McInerney. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know what? As well, Lacey. Um, I, 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 no, girls, there's no love. I went okay. back to City at ten weeks after having my son as well, um, and they were in, wow. they were incredibly supportive with me and all the needs that I had. Um, I could go into more details about that, but it's probably not the most appropriate show for it, guys. But I can just say that Manchester City were incredible when I went back after having a baby. Which is what you'd expect, Lacey, yeah, I'm sure. That's, that's, yeah, that's great that they were so supportive. 
Absolutely. And we need more. I love this chat. We need more to do with this in football, more stuff like this. Look, I will say a massive thank you to Lacey, Manchester City fan from Illinois, who's got in touch. I absolutely love what she's had to say there. So,